Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about the smoky season. I know I just had a video not too long ago about the smoky season, but today we're going to look more into why there is a smoky season and how it starts and all this other good stuff. But I thought I would show you today because today is a really, really bad smoky day. And if we take a look out here, you can see that the mountains that are normally this direction, they're, they're all gone. And if I pan around, you can barely see the ones over to this side. So this is, you know, not the greatest day in the world to be out and about without a mask on. For those of you are, that are new to hearing about the smoky season, uh, usually happens with well, the worst months are March and April. This is March, so this is one of the bad months. Started early this year, started in January because it was very dry and most of the farmers are burning their fields. There's different reasons we'll look at as to why they're burning their fields, where they're burning their fields, and why all the government does to try to stop it here in Thailand is not going to change much at all. So we're gonna to go to the computer and take a look at things on the computer, at the map. All right, so now we're on the computer and to understand why there is such a smoke problem, we're going to take a look at the firm's website, which is the Fire Information for Resource Management System, which is run by NASA. So first, for comparison, I thought I would take a look at the United States. Now, where you see these little red dots is where there's been an active fire. Right now, I have the settings set for one day. I've got it set to March 3rd. Today is March 4th, so basically, I'm looking at yesterday's information. So let's see what's going on. You can see there's dotted fires all across the US. There's a lot going on there in California and some here, in Kansas, Nebraska. Over here, it's just kind of sporadic, Florida, not much going on. Now, if you come down here to Mexico, Cuba, Central America, you can see there's, there's a lot more active fires there, all right? And then we come down to South America and we can see that there's a lot of fires in the north but other than that fires are pretty scattered all over South America so for comparison we're gonna go over here and check out the next part of the world we're gonna check out uh, Africa and Europe and as you can see here in uh, Africa there's fires going on, but most of it is going on in the middle of the continent, as you can see there. And if you look over here at Europe, let's zone in here to Europe. You can see there's not really a whole lot of fires in the last 24 hours that have been going on in Europe. Let's go in just a little bit more. You can see Spain's got some sporadic Portugal. There is barely anything going on fire-wise in France. Uh, you can see over here in uh, England, not a whole lot going on. Ireland, Scotland, you got a few up there. Italy, little sporadic ones there, but just not much going on. So what's going on with Thailand? Why do we have so much smoke? <laughs> Let's go over here to Thailand. And we'll take a look what do you know it looks like as the data is loading it looks like uh, the whole country's on fire pretty much the whole area so remember this is only in the past 24 hours or, or yesterday so let's zoom in here and take a look and see what we got so we could see thailand all the the map is refreshing here but you could see there's sporadic fires all over the place as we zoom in here even more okay so Chiang Mai is up here in the north Bangkok area as we zoom in a little bit more up now this this is Laos this is Cambodia over here is Myanmar so as you could see just in the last day there are fires going on all over Thailand but there's even more fires going on on the other side of the border like if you look at uh, Myanmar we'll zoom in here even more so this is 
northern Thailand and Myanmar. It's kind of hard to see if I zoom in that much, but you could see all the fires going on. They're just scattered everywhere. And here's Chiang Mai right here. You could see poor little Chiang Mai itself. There's really not a whole lot of uh, fires going on. Chiang Mai is where I'm at right now. And you could see there's only a few fires going on here. But the problem is, is we are surrounded by fires all over the place. So here's a more simplistic view. So you see the border here, follow my cursor. That is the border of Thailand. So you can see all the fires going on in the neighboring countries all over the place. Looks like Cambodia is completely on fire. Laos is pretty much on fire. So here's the thing. If Thailand were to make a law and everyone were to abide by it, that there would be no more fires, we would still have the same problem because you would have to have the cooperation of the surrounding countries to quit having their fires as well because all the smoke from all these fires surrounding Thailand, obviously it's gonna blow all over Thailand. For those of you in the Bangkok area, I know that I'm seeing in the news all the time that you guys are covered up in smoke. And for the most part, your area doesn't have too many fires going on. But again, you're surrounded by fires all over the place. So it doesn't surprise me. Now, for those of you wanting to see what's going on further down, you can see there's not a whole lot of fires going on in the south. And you guys do have a better wind there because you're surrounded by water. So that really helps out a lot. Now, this is just, like I said before, a one day look. I'm going to show you what seven days, one week looks like. Here is a seven day look at all of the active fires here in Southeast Asia. You can see Thailand looks like it is lit up. It looks like it's just totally red. Same go that goes for our neighboring countries. This is how many fires there have been in the last seven days. And if I zoom in, you can see the details on all the individual fires that there have been in the last seven days. So you could see if you go week by week by week and it looks like this, there's no hope to see the sun anytime soon. There's active fires going on everywhere. There's no way that any government is going to be able to control this many fires, this spread out through such a gigantic country such as Thailand. And again, even if they were to control Thailand, look around. It's just incredible. Now, wait till I show you what a month looks like, a month's worth of fires. Here is what it looks like for the amount of fires in 30 days. So as you can see, Thailand is completely red at this point, along with all of the neighboring countries. So in the last 30 days, no wonder we say that uh, smoky season started early this year. It seemed to start in January. So for the last 30 days, this basically is going to cover all of March for the most part. Excuse me, all of February for the most part. You could see that we didn't stand a chance. No wonder it was so smoky. We only really had, I think, one day that we had any rain. So the only thing that's going to put uh, the smoky season to an end anytime soon would be rain. Now, it does look like they've, they've caught the whole country on fire. What could be left uh, to burn but as we zoom in a little bit, you know, you could see the granular detail of the little bitty fires that are everywhere contributing to the smoke crisis that we have right now that we seem to have every year. So all those little dots, and I'm going to go in as just pick an area and go in as close as I possibly can. And you could see that these are little fires in little parts of villages and agricultural areas scattered all over the place. This would make it almost impossible to manage to try to find people or whatever. I mean, if you think about it, it's smoky everywhere anyways. If you had a small fire and you had smoke rising from it, could you even tell? It would just match everything else. So anyway, 
I hope this gives you an idea of the severity of the problem that we're having with the smoke and that it's pretty much pointless to think that anything is going to change anytime soon. So if you're wanting to know what actually causes the smoky season, well, I pulled up a website, IQ Air. I use their app on my phone. And what do you know, they have an article here just for Thailand and also in my area, Chiang Mai. So let's see what they have to say. Chiang Mai air pollution is largely attributable to agricultural burning rather than fossil fuel related combustion. Agricultural burning, also called open burning or burning season, is the practice of setting fire to cultivated fields to clear the land in preparation for the next crop cycle. In northern Thailand, agricultural burning practices are mostly used on sugarcane, rice, and maize crop fields between December and April. So you could see that there is a reason that they are burning the fields. Not that that makes that any easier. One last look at the map. This time I have November 1st put into the map and you could see what a difference it is. How there's very few fires for the most part all over Thailand. So you could see there's definitely a big difference between the non-smoky season and the smoky season with the amount of fires. Anyway, I hope this was eye-opening for you. I know it was for me. I did not realize that there were so many fires in so many places. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. There's a link in the description. And until next time, Kapkun Kap.